Chinese press reported, China will take countermeasures. The U.S.'s arms sale to Taiwan this time is different from before, that is the article title has the following content. Global TV Channel invites you to listen, according to Global News, the U.S. Defense Security Cooperation Agency, DSCA, recently confirmed that the U.S. State Department has approved the latest arms sale to Taiwan, worth $300 million, to maintain the called the Command, Control, and Communication Program of the Information Security Program. And Computer, C4, System Life Cycle, including previously purchased multifunction MIDS LVT terminals and Joint Tactical Intelligence Distribution System, TIDS, equipment, as well as spare parts replacement and repair. Technical support, logistics, etc., there will be countermeasures, Foreign Ministry spokesman Wang Wenbin said that the United States had blatantly violated the One China Principle and three Sino-U.S. joint communiques and once again announced the sale of arms to China's Taiwan region, causing harm to China. Seriously harmed China's sovereignty and security interests, seriously endangered peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait, and the Taiwan independence separatist forces sent a wrong signal serious mistake. China is extremely dissatisfied and resolutely opposed to this, and has made stern protests to the United States. No matter how many weapons the United States provides to Taiwan, it will not be able to stop China's historic unification or shake the Chinese people's steadfast will to defend sovereignty. National and territorial integrity, Wang Wenbin also emphasized that China will eventually unify and will be unified. China will take resolute and strong measures to protect national sovereignty and territorial integrity. We will take countermeasures against relevant companies involved in selling weapons to Taiwan. Ministry of National Defense spokesman Wu Qian answered the question that the Taiwan issue has always been the most important and sensitive issue in Sino-US relations. We demand that the United States stop arming Taiwan, seriously implemented statement of not supporting Taiwan independence into concrete actions, stop interfering in China's internal affairs, and not go to deeper into the wrong and dangerous path. Using Taiwan to contain China will certainly fail, while using force to gain independence will reach a dead end. The Chinese People's Liberation Army has stepped up military training and preparations for war, resolutely defended national sovereignty and territorial integrity and resolutely protected peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. Different from the past, a review of previous U.S. arms sales to Taiwan shows that most U.S. weapons supplied to Taiwan include aircraft, artillery, missiles and other equipment or ammunition. The command, control, communications and computer, C4, system as well as the joint tactical intelligence distribution system mentioned in this arms sale rarely appear in arms sales. Before. From the role and intention to directly sell weapons and ammunition, military commentator Song Zhongping explained to Jing Jijun that in general, the United States' intention this time is clear, that is, they hope to build and upgrade Taiwan C-4 ISR system. The so-called C-4 ISR is an integrated information command system in modern warfare, including command, communication, detection, etc. This type of system achieves more effective intelligence gathering and command decision making by integrating more units and combat platforms into a unified information chain. We cannot simply believe that U.S. arms sales to Taiwan will continue as before and only provide guns and ammunition to Taiwan. Song Zhongping commented that this type of information system is important in modern warfare and will improve joint operations and rapid response capabilities. Taiwan's existing relevant systems are outdated and need to be this type of maintenance and upgrade can obviously only rely on technology provided by the United States. The United States' actions also show that its intention to maintain hegemony has never changed, and their use of playing the Taiwan card to restrain China's development will also not change. In June this year, the Southeast Satellite TV column quoted Taiwanese media as saying that the U.S. would support Taiwan's military in collecting advanced tactical data links to prepare the Taiwanese military. Upgrade the General Combat Command System Some military experts explained in the Southeast Television column that this move will allow the nerve of Taiwan's military power to communicate with the U.S. military and even U.S. allies, 
through which, called intelligence if shared, Taiwan will become a puppet on a string of the U.S., Song Zhongping said that the Taiwanese government once again squandered a lot of money and used the people's hard-earned money to buy the U.S. command system, which is an act of exploitation. He analyzed that, as the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of Defense have repeatedly stated, no matter how many weapons the United States provides to Taiwan, it cannot stop the historical process. Unification of China From a technical perspective, the People's Liberation Army's C-4 ISR system has no drawbacks and is equally advanced and reliable. In addition, Taiwan's system was purchased from the United States and has no ability to convert, upgrade or repeat. If loopholes or deviations occur during wartime, it cannot be repaired or remedied in time. On the contrary, the command and control system of the People's Liberation Army is a self-developed and self-produced system, with better integrity, applicability, spatial upgrading, adjustment and respond more strongly in wartime. Our news on Global TV channel would like to pause here. If you find it interesting, please subscribe to the channel to follow us in the next video, see you soon.